Hey, what's up Marquette family? As you can see, I got Marquette right behind me. And it's got me excited for Marquette basketball. What am I looking forward to uh, this season? Well, I definitely want to see Tyler Kolek repeat as Big East Player of the Year. And the only way that I don't see him repeating is uh, hopefully Cam Jones or Oso Iguodaro uh, push him for Big East Player of the Year. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing Oso maybe knock down a couple of three-pointers. He's definitely a uh, NBA prospect, but what's going to get him into uh, the first round is if he can start hitting down, uh, hitting some three-point shots. Definitely has the ball handling skills that uh, NBA teams are going to be looking for for a guy his size. Passing skills are outstanding. Just has to show that he can be more of that uh, new age uh, big man and knock down three-pointers. Going to be interesting to see how the rotation shakes out. Uh, you know, eight of the nine are returning. Omax went to the NBA. Uh, Shaka will probably play 10. Uh, the only reason why he played nine last year was Zach Reitzel got hurt. Uh, so we'll see if uh, Chase Ross, Trey Norman, or Zadre Lowry can pick up the uh, defense, uh, the defensive uh, skills that Omax left behind. Because that's really only uh, where you're going to miss Omax for sure. You definitely got Joplin to hit those three pointers. Ben Gold also can come off the bench, hit threes. So uh, the offense, you'll be all right. Uh, replacing Omax, it's going to be the defense. Um, Al Amandu, or Amadou, I'm going to butcher his name, and I tried to look it up. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, will he be that 10th man, or is it going to be Zad Zadre Lowry? Uh, otherwise, I'm just super excited for hopefully Marquette not only repeating his biggest champs, but finally going into the second weekend of the NCAA tournament, and maybe the third?